Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this dome card. So this is a 6x6, six six. you can make it any size. Once you see how I've done it, it's really easy. There are some of these dome styles around, but I've not seen one with the two sides which are flat. So I've put this one together and I've used some of the product from my new Super Sliders collection. So that's the Let's Hear It For The Girls range. And um, I've got that lovely shoe and these embellishments here. And then you just open up the card it's top folding and inside you've got Life is Short by the Shoes and um, it stands up really nicely. This will fit in my 6x6 box envelopes and I will link that one just up here. You could also pop it in like a nice little gift bag um, and you could even maybe do one of the bouncy envelopes around it as well. So that's just a normal envelope that you would make on your punch board and then when you go to actually kind of stick it together you do it over the card whilst it's kind of in there um, so you know it's going to fit perfectly. But um, yeah, it's really straightforward to make so let me show you how. Okay, so this is the stamp set. So this is from my collection. It's the Let's Hear It For The Girls sentiment stamp set. And I've just pulled out, for that one, it was the Happy Birthday and Life Is Short By The Shoes. And then for this one, it's Be Your Own Kind Of Beautiful, which I've already stamped. All the links for everything will be shared below. The embossing folder I've used, which you can just see in the background there, that zigzag. And that's from my, la my last collection, which was the Wonderful Wipers. So I'll be using that one. And then this is the die set, or it's not the die set because you don't need a die set for it, but it's the dies that I've used. So I'm using this scallop and the circle to actually make a frame. So, but you can use any circle, any squares. And then I'm using the shoe, which I've already die cut. And you can see there this time I'm doing it in gold and I've put it on some fun foam. So it's got lots of dimension to it. And I've also done the hearts there and the diamond. And um, that is from the six by six circle super slider. So this mechanism and everything will make the super slider cards. And I'll link those up here if you haven't seen them because they're really nice and kinetic style cards that you can make. And then for the papers I've used, yeah, this one, they're both from the geode. So again, it's the let's hear it for the girls. I used this one here, which was that marble effect. And then for today's card, I've pulled out this one here which is one of these, you've got the two there. Every single pattern has foiling with it, and then you have three that are plain, but even that one without the foiling through still looks gorgeous. That's the one that I've chosen. I've got some embellishments to go around the frame. So let me show you what you need to do. So like I said, I'm working on a six by six card blank. The acetate's optional, you don't actually need it, but I do think it looks quite nice. I did think when I put that one together, if you've got any kind of Disney fans, this would look nice with a rose behind. You could have it as like a Beauty and the Beast style card and um, you know decorate it you know, to kind of match that theme. I thought that would look quite nice. So I've already got my six by six pre-made card here. Um, so this was a piece of 12 by six, just scored along the 12 inch side at six inches. Fold in half, you've got your top folding. And then I've just put a matte layer inside there, which is five and three quarters squared and then five and a half squared. So that's all ready for me to write my message. I've then got this piece here, which is six by six, and that's what I'm gonna emboss. And then this is the piece to make that actual dome shape. So this here is six and a half by six, and along the long side, the six and a half, you wanna score at half an inch and at six inches. So what I would say is if you wanna make a five by seven, you would have a piece that is five and a half by seven. So whatever the width of the card is, just add another half an inch, and that is enough for you to be able to create that dome shape, okay? And then I've just got some acetate here, which is to go inside, which is five and a quarter by five and three quarters. And then I have some gold card to cut my circle. So that's all the scoring and everything. So before I do any burnishing, I'm gonna grab my pattern paper. Now this piece here is gonna fit perfectly within those two score lines there. Okay, so this is five and a half by six. All right, and um, I wanna stick it down first and then I'm going to die cut my aperture. So, you know, you might be using a pattern paper to start with or a stronger cardstock, and you might not want to do it the way I am. So, but because this is a paper, um, it will still be able, you know, my dye machine can still cut through the two layers. So I'm going to, first of all, just stick this one down and let that dry. Okay, so that's all stuck down. You can see it goes right up to the score lines. If you want to come in a little bit, you might want to have a frame you can do, but I have done mine, so it goes right up. And you can just see there a little bit of the white, which you'll see once we, you know, fold those score lines. So now I want to cut my aperture. So I'm going to, first of all, don't need that one, just want the inner circle, okay? If you do want to get something that's similar, then I'll give you the measurements for this one here. It is... Um, from cut line, you're looking at three and seven eighths, so you know four inches will be fine. And it's up to you how high up or how down, how far down you have it. Because I've got this one, which is going to create that frame, 
I will just lie that on there just so I can see kind of how high up the top there. I can probably go about there. I think that's going to be nice because what I've done is I've cut the rest of the pattern so it continues onto the side pieces here. You might have to trim a little bit as you go but that's completely fine so I'm just going to take that one away. Make sure that was back in the centre there. And I'm just going to pop some tape there and I'm just going to run that through my dye machine. Okay, so that's cut through perfectly. So that's all ready. So we'll leave that to one side. We'll burnish it in a moment. I just want to make sure my glue has completely dried there. Next, you want to get the piece that you're going to emboss. Um, yours might be pattern paper. Again, you might be putting it together differently, but I'm just going to lay that inside the embossing folder and it will fit in there perfectly. And I'm just going to run that one through. Okay, just take that one away. You can see that really nice effect there. Then I'm going to stick that just right on to the front of this. Okay, so that's my, again, top folding 6x6 six six card blank. I'm now going to stick that on top. You can emboss and run that through, but it just will, it kind of weakens it. So you're squashing the cardstock when you emboss. And, um, you know, I would rather stick this onto my card front with the Kalau glue. Because um, I just think that it's just going to strengthen it, which is always a good thing. Okay, so again, I'm going to set that to one side, so they're drying, and now I'm going to cut my frame oh, with the original circle that you would have cut your aperture with. So then, you know, if you're using a, just a nest of square dies, just grab the next square size up and just sit it over, you know, around that one and cut them, and that'll give you a nice frame. But you always want to have your original circle or shape in the middle first and then whatever around it. So I'm just going to sit that just so you get a nice little frame. Again, I'm just going to run that one through my machine. Okay, so now I've got that lovely gold sparkly frame. So we'll go back to this piece here. So now you just want to fold and burnish those two outer score lines. Okay, and then you just want to put a little, little bit of a curve into the cardstock. That's just going to help it go into that dome shape. You want to do this you know after you've cut the aperture otherwise you're just going to squash it so it's a little bit fiddly to do but it's better to do it after you've cut it because you're just going to flatten it again and you can see now it just helps when it comes up into that shape there before i stick it down i'm going to stick this frame around there and i just think again that just really frames the frame <laughs> so you can really notice it a lot more you can see with that one there i use the mirror card and just all that shine on it, I just think it looks gorgeous. So again, I'm just going to, yeah, I'll use this glue. I'm just going to pop a little blob in each of those little kind of semicircles. And stick that down, still keeping it in that kind of, you know, that arched dome shape. Because this glue now will, will dry, you know, in that shape. You know, you can always shape it whilst the glue that you, you when you stuck this top layer down is still drying as well. Just be careful because you don't want to obviously rip the paper or anything. But if you get it into the shape whilst everything's drying still, it's going to set in that shape and it's just going to become very strong. Okay, and then we've got our piece of acetate. So with this piece here, I just want to run some red tape around all of the four sides. This is a very thin one. Um, but you know any double-sided tape as long as it's not so thick that it you know runs run will run the risk of coming into this view Here, so I mean I know this won't because it's very thin. So I'm just going to pop a thin strip on each side And then flip this over Make sure it's all clean. You can always give it a wipe still afterwards, but you want to just rest it within That again that curve kind of let it follow can see there now how that all looks and then I'm going to use the Kalau now you can use again strong double-sided tape but I'm just going to do one at a time just so I can hold it in place because you do want to make sure this is completely dry before you let go of it because obviously there's going to be a little bit of tension just because of the shape that we've got here so again oh actually before I do that you want to lay your whatever it is you're going to have inside so I'm just going to, I know I've put glue on there, I'm just going to lay it on there because I can lift it back up again. Actually, no, that's fine. What am I doing? I can do this one side, I'll stick this down and then I can work out where I want to do it, which actually will work out really well. So we'll, do, we'll stick with that way. 
I think it's last time I, when I done this one, I actually put the acetate, I just slid that in afterwards and just tacked it with a little bit of tape. So I was able to put the shoe on even when this was all together, but we'll do it this way and it will still work fine. So just make sure everything lines up and then eventually we're gonna stick these pieces. I did do it so the pattern continues. Yeah, there we go. See the pattern will line up like so. Maybe it was the other side. I'll change them, but you can see that it looks really nice. So again, just make sure that's really stuck. And then I'm going to take the backing off the foam here. I've just put it on some foam again, just to give it even more dimension. It's got quite a lot of space in there. So you want to have something that's lifted um, just because I think it looks really nice. And then if I just lift that up, you can kind of see, think about there. I think that looks good. Bring it down a little bit there. Nope, that's perfect, I'm happy with that. So that's sticking nicely. So now I can just pop some more glue on this side here. Push it up so it runs flush with the other side of the card and then you'll get that nice dome shape and you'll have about an inch lifted, which is why it will fit into the box envelopes. Let me just check again here. Yeah, it's literally just on it. Okay, that's all done. And then I'm gonna stick these down. If you want to do them thinner, if you wanna have again a border, you can do. You'll just see a little bit of the white, which is that score line. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm then going to pop my sentiment on here. You could also put, you know, some jokey things under here. You could put maybe like their favourite chocolate bar. You could put a gift card in there. You know, there's some really nice ideas. You don't need to put the glue all over that like I've done actually. I'm just going to rub it away from each side. You only need it in the middle part because it's actually going to be lifted either side. So that one's just going to go just at the bottom there. And then I have this one, which is going to go, I'm going to pop a little bit of the glue as well, because these aren't always the um, stickiest. These ones are, they're not branded ones. I think I just picked them up from a DIY store or something. And then I've got some embellishments, which I'm going to stick on all of the little kind of scallop detail. Again, completely optional, but I do think it looks quite nice. Now, if you do have anything, if I flip this over, again, just bring it up there just so you can see. How lovely does that look? If you've got anything, I've got a little bit on that side, I'm just going to trim away. But flip it over and trim it, and that way you'll get a really nice finish. A little bit on this one. Just check the back just to give you a really nice finish. And then because these are... These are sticky, but this is, you know, um, a glitter cardstock, so it's it's got a rough finish to it. I'm going to add a little dot of my, uh, my liquid glue here, and then stick it on, and that way I know they're not going to fall off because these probably will. So I'm just going to do about half there, and then I'm just going to go around and just sit one of these in the centres. Okay, so there is the finished card. You might want to do those before you stick these bits down. It was fine for me. I was able to go in under them, but you know, if you are going to attach other things or even do that as well before you actually attach it to the card. But I do, I absolutely love this. I was also thinking you could do this, it'd be really nice for Christmas with a snow theme. So it's like that snow globe look and you could even put like a Christmas decoration in there. So there's lots of ways it, it can certainly be used as that kind, kind of gift and card in one. Um, I'm really pleased with this. I think it looks lovely. And I love that it's, you know, a, a nice, easy functioning card as well. So that person will know what to do. Um, and this is all ready for me to write a little message in it. So, and it just displays itself really nicely. And I'll just bring in the other one there as well and just show you what they both look like. I think they look gorgeous so that's today's tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it as always i will link everything that i've used in the description box below and i'll be back again very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye